What's going on everybody? A sunny, beautiful day here in Florida, here at Epcot at the International Festival of the Holidays. Oh yeah, thanks for joining me guys. And I've got some great news. There is a new attraction open here at Epcot. I set my alarm back at the RV for 6.30 in the morning, brought my phone out, confirmed my party, refreshed at 7 a.m. and boom, got a boarding pass for Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. It says 455 minutes, which is seven and a half hours, but it's a virtual queue, which means we can go play in the park and do other things until we get called on the new attraction. Yeah. The monorail and Spaceship Earth. Oh, what a glorious day in Florida. Yeah. Just don't know if we can skip Spaceship Earth. This feels like something you're supposed to do when you first get in the park, right? It's quick. Let's do it. And did you know that they canceled the refurbishment? Yeah, because of... Well, COVID and other projects like tearing up Splash Mountain, uh, they decided to keep this as normal for now. Canceled it, so um, yeah, still open. And I did purchase a Genie Plus. We got a lightning lane ready to go. Yeah, love the palm trees. I am noticing that the, the walls are still in place. We'll see what's changed. Ah, oh, spaceship or... Such a classic ride. They could keep it the same forever. Uh, the Project of Tomorrow is back open. All interactive stuff. There's uh, games that the kids can play, little interactive fun stuff. Uh, yeah, let's go to our next attraction. All right, and uh, <laughs> the decades long refurbishment of Epcot continues. Will it ever end? Well, <laughs> Uh, Epcot's remodel over here has changed quite a bit throughout the years, especially because of COVID and money issues. All their big plans over here that they tore big holes for, they've changed that. They've simplified everything. Oh well. Club Cool's back from Coca-Cola though. It's back. Check it out. You can go try some interesting flavors in here. All right, here's what we can try. What should we start with here? I'm gonna skip the know. Beverly. Gonna do the Royal here. All right. That one's good. That one's real good. Maybe a Viva. Oh, that's good too. But I like the Royal better. All right, where to next? Holy cow. Guardians of the Galaxy boarding group 57 right now at 1118 in the morning. That was a lot quicker than the 455 minute wait they said. We're going right now. There goes that monorail. Look at the new land. Well, it's not a new land. It's just in one new attraction here. Where do we go here? I think it's a dark ride attraction. I don't even know if I can bring a camera on it. I think it's like, like Space Mountain kind of. See here, Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind, be aware that you will be transported to a Nova Cruiser orbiting above Terra for a demonstration which will consist of a thrilling high-speed turbulent, what you would terrains call a roller coaster type ride that goes forward and backward through the dark. There's two lanes here. They've got a lightning lane. It's not included in Genie Plus. You do have to pay extra a la carte. I believe it's $11 today. So if you missed a queue, you could still pay $11 per person. But we got our virtual crew virtual queue group right now. Here we go. Nice. 
Wow, it smells so new and clean, fresh. Yeah, wow. <laughs> Woo, look at this cue, guys. It has that soaring feel and look. Many of these stars grew hotter and denser until they exploded, creating new stars in a cycle that lasted more than a billion years. They did really good with this cue. Oh man, I think this is air conditioned for the summertime. A lot of indoor queue though. Wow. So cool. And they've got a mini star blaster in here. I like the one outside. Man, is this the greatest queue ever? It might even be better than uh, Rise of the Resistance. <laughs> and it's moving. The line is definitely moving. Oh. Here we go. This is a new room. explain that <laughs> is that where Disney is going is that is that the future of Disney that was incredible nicely done Disney best coaster ever in a Disney park Whoo! I'm gonna get some sugar in me I got this beautiful concoction here for the 50th once we get over to the land they'll have a lot of different holiday festival stuff but let's try this one frozen lime with boba red boba stuff and a yeah, it's tasty. And one delicious Homer strawberry pink donut. I'm doing things right today. Mmm. Throw that one on them. Yes, the land featuring Soren, and it is definitely the feature of this next building here. Okay, not too busy in here right now. Still a few people getting lunch. I'm gonna wait on lunch, but yeah, I like this area. There's three things to do in here. <laughs> All right, we'll start with Soren here. Got that lightning lane, but let's see what the wait time is. Uh, here at 1 p.m., it's 75 minutes. All right, let's do a lightning lane. Awesome. Well, I didn't film it for you guys. I think I've filmed that ride quite quite a few times. Kind of hard to capture. Check out one of my other Epcot videos. Let's check out the line for living with the land. Oh, not too bad. You should, I mean, sometimes these columns are all full too. It's pretty much a walk on. Less than five minutes. Let's do it. There goes that monorail. Before we head over into the countries around the world, gotta check out Nemo over here. Nemo and Dory. Hi, 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 hi. 
Come back. It's temporarily closed right now. All right, we'll head over to uh, going around the world. Uh, I always call it around the world. It's called World Showcase, and get a load of the construction going on. Yeah, they're working. All right, so we're gonna do something really different. It, it's said that 90% of people, when they get to World Showcase, they always turn left and go towards Mexico. We're gonna turn right, but first. It's festival of the holidays. All right, we're starting here with the uh, Kona Brewing Big Wave uh, here at Melekaleke Maka. Yeah, they're doing these uh, little six ounce samplers. You don't overdo it because we've got a lot of world to uh, explore. So the six ounce gives you a little sample of everything. It's kind of like a mini flight or a bigger version of a flight. But let's try it. That is pretty tasty. It's pretty good. Hawaii, from Hawaii. Wow, we only made it 50 feet, and here's another one. No Chibuena Cochina. Let's look at their menu. They got some food, too. All right, they got the chorizo tamale. Let's go down here. 81 Bay Brewing Horchata Beer. Let's try that from Tampa, Florida. All right, there's what the horchata looks like. I don't think it's going to be spicy or anything. Uh, out in the water there, you can see, for me, this is going to be something new tonight. The new Harmonious Barge Show, light show, fireworks and everything. I believe that's at 9.30 tonight. Got to get some food soon. I can't just can't just do six ounce beers all day. Or can you? Challenge accepted. Let's try this one. Oh, oh. weird. It's got a lot of like fruity extra stuff that I was not expecting. The horchata, that's, that's yummy. Mm. All right, here at Yukon Holiday Kitchen. There's actually a couple of them here. Another one from Tampa, the peanut butter banana porter, but we got uh, maple cookie blonde ale from Titusville and the Collective Arts Coffee Maple Porter from Ontario, Canada. I think I'm gonna try those two here. Actually, what a deal. Instead of getting two six ounces for $11 total, they have a flight there of all three for 10. So got a flight. As far as I'm concerned, let's keep these flights going. Uh, let's see, the Coffee Maple Porter that's going to be this thick, juicy thing there that you can't even see through. Yeah. Maple porter. Woo! I'm going to chew that one. Mmm. Mmm. Then there's the cookie blonde ale from Titusville. I like the blonde ale. It's not very blonde. It's got a lot of power behind it. And the peanut butter banana porter from Tampa. Peanut butter, definitely. I don't taste the banana though. Oh, there it is. It was down there a little farther. You, you gotta, gotta find the banana. Mm -hmm. There it is. All right, for reference, we started right where there where that blue flag is on top of that building, okay? And we're just now gonna start making the turn around the World Showcase to go all the way around. There's the middle. Yeah, we got a long ways to go today, guys. Look at all these birds. You wanna know why they're hanging out right next to me? Because I got something they like. No, not that. The fish and chips. <laughs> look, look at these breaded, look at this. It's ridiculous. I don't even know what it was called where I just stopped at, but I'm hungry, so. Except they didn't have any barbecue sauce. I always dunk my fish barbecue sauce, so we're gonna do, we're gonna do ketchup instead here. Mm, that's good. They're getting pretty jealous down there. They ain't getting them nothing. All right, we'll just keep traveling the world. Just got here to France and uh, have a lightning lane for this one, Ratatouille. Uh, you don't even have to go all the way inside. They have this sign right here letting you know it's an 80 minute wait, unless you have Genie Plus and a lightning lane pass for right now to skip the line. It's cool seeing the uh, Skyliner roll through the land though. Yep. Uh, watch out. I think that sign says that there's creepers in Paris. You got to watch out for creepers. I think. I love the fountain. So awesome. Remy's Ratatouille Adventure. Yeah. Skipping the line. Skipping the line. Rolling right through. Remy's Ratatouille Adventure. Uh, it is a 3D ride, so it might look different on your end. Might.
awesome. So long, France. Uh, I'm glad I gave it a second try because I can really appreciate that ride a lot more than last time. I criticized them a little bit because there's, there's a lot of screens to look at. A lot of screens. It's not like Rise of the Resistance where there's big things, but I'll tell you what, they, they did really good with that. Got my next lightning lane over in Norway. So that's where we're heading next. All right, here we go. That was a long walk, a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. But here we are in Norway, Arendelle to be more specific. And I think, well, I don't want to jinx myself, but last time in Arendelle on the ship, didn't do too good. Let's see how we do it here. Love that ride, by the way. It did get bumped today. Number one is gonna be Guardians of the Galaxy. Number two, Frozen. Number three, Ratatouille. I think I need a Scandinavian draft beer, though. All right, I got my Scandinavian Odin's beer here. Uh, oh, that might be one of my favorites. I guess as we get throughout the day, I keep saying, well, that's my favorite, that's my favorite. Kind of what happens. Change of plans since I had to come so far into Norway for that ride. I'm gonna head over to Mexico first, which puts us almost at the end of it. And then as it gets dark, we'll go back and finish the other half of World Showcase, okay? All right. Well, actually, wait, uh, this is a new restaurant open, Connections Cafe here in Epcot. And uh, they got air conditioning, a little break, and I'm kind of hungry for dinner. So I'm gonna grab dinner, I see what I want up there gotten a lot of compliments actually a lot more compliments on my new pizza ears than my hamburger ears so pepperoni pizza yeah and also i've been looking all day this is the first time i found coke zero it's in the fountain section but they don't sell bottles of coke zero here at epcot like magic kingdom it's all over but uh look at these guys just look at it with your eyes yeah so by the way i got the ears on etsy on a band and then I did a custom order to have her change it to a black hat. So, definitely one of a kind. And that pizza really hit the spot. Really hit the spot. Sun's just starting to set. What time is it? It's 5.30. Park closes at 9.30. Harmonious water thing out there is also at 9.30 when they close. So they must let us stay past 9.30. Okay. Get a load of this Christmas tree. Awesome. Oh, it's got like six buzzes from my magic band. Where are they? Oh, let's see what Rocket and Groot will do. We're near it. Wait, Go. there it goes. There it goes. Cool. Olaf! You got anything? Olaf? Wake up. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, he likes warm hugs and summer. Just uh, four hours to go. Then I finally get to see this show a long time in the making. All right, here is the Mexico Pavilion. We're gonna go inside and check out the three caballeros. Huh, should we grab a drink first? No, let's go to the ride first. All right, Grand Fiesta Tour starring the three caballeros. Look, it's a walk on. first non-beer here in Mexico. I think it's a margarita, because it's got rum in it. What is it? It's called the Wild One with Joven Tequila, Combiner Orange Liquor, Ginger, Passion Fruit, 
portal, lime juice, and illegal mezcal with hibiscus salt rim. Mm -hmm. You probably wouldn't like that though. All right, listen, listen. It's test track time, 30 minute wait. Let's do it. Mission space, space mission this time. It's just a, it's a, it's a rough one on me. I'm gonna skip that one. Head back over to World Showcase. All right, last beer of the night. Went back to Norway. That margarita tore me up, but uh, nice night. Got something on the lens. Just gotta find a spot to sit for harmonious. Coming in for a break and to get a coffee. Just wanted to point out that the Epcot version of the cup I got is Minnie Mouse and it's pink. Yeah, I'm gonna pass on that one. I like my Mickey Mouse one. Well, I'm gonna get a hot beverage and relax before leaving the park. Just a little Christmas pick me up. Still can't find a gingerbread cookie, but I did get a sugar cookie. Yeah. Hmm. Might as well throw that on the ground. All right, I wanna go find my. Uh, bus over there goodbye uh oh they're gonna light it up heck yeah by spaceship earth and epcot the people are wondering if after the 50th that they're gonna keep those lights on they look so cool it just changes everything but they said it was just for the 50th and then they're just not gonna turn them on again they're gonna go back to normal i think it just looks it makes it look so much better it's so cool oh it's bright wow very pretty. Oh, and now we're gonna change colors. <laughs> See, it's so much better. It's Christmas colors. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pooped. Let's go find that bus. Sarah, I missed you, girl. Is Opie in your spot? Opie, what are you doing in here? Hanging out in the Christmas tree, huh? Missed you guys. Sorry about that, Tara. You'll get a turn later, okay? Yeah, you'll get a turn. Opie's having a turn right now. Little precious boy. Yeah. Give Tara a turn. Man, no. Whoop.